binary erasure channel. So the job of the binary erasure channel for the decoder is uh, you know, for instance, you can you send 0101101 and you receive 0E01. In other words, these E's are blanks that you have to fill in. So the job of the decoder is just to fill in the blanks, and anytime you see a 0 or a 1, you know that that was correctly transmitted. So my diagram now looks like this. So from zero, I go to zero with probability one minus PE and erasure with probability PE. From one, I go to one with probability one minus PE and to erasure with probability PE. So what does my channel message look like now? I have log f of y given x equals zero. Now three possibilities for y. If y is zero, I have log f of y equals zero given x equals zero divided by f of y equals one given x equals zero, which is log of what's the numerator? Probably the y is 0 given that x is 0. 1 minus p. And the denominator? The denominator is 0. So what is this? This is log of infinity, which is infinity. What does that mean? Basically, the log likelihood ratio is telling you a value of infinity means certainty. So the, the, the log likelihood ratio is telling you it is certain that. Uh, that um, x is 0. What do you think it would be for y equals 1? Zero. Uh, no, minus, infinity. Oh, sorry, minus infinity. So it's basically 1 over this, which is minus infinity. How about y equals e? There I have log f y equals e given x equals 0, divided by f y equals e given x equals 1, which is the numerator is so log p e divided by p e, which is log of 1, which is 0. So we have exactly three possible values. Uh, it's important to note in the previous example, we had exactly two possible values for the channel message. In this case, we have exactly three possible values for the channel message. Infinity, zero, and minus infinity. So, that actually, uh, in the previous case, the binary symmetric case, we'll, we'll, we'll cover an example shortly. But um, in this case, this sets up a very interesting um, decoding algorithm. So at a variable, at a variable I have this. I have LC coming in and a bunch of input messages from the code. So if any one of these, my operation here is addition. Um, L out is equal to the sum of these. So um, infinity, a value of infinity here means we are absolutely 100% sure that the value of x is 0. Similarly, 
an input of minus infinity means we're absolutely 100% sure that x is minus 1. Excuse me, that x is 1. Plus infinity 0, minus infinity 1. So is it possible that these messages could disagree? In other words, 1 would be plus infinity, 1 would be minus infinity. So basically, what would that mean? That would mean someone is 100% certain, with absolutely no doubt and no possibility of error, that it's a zero. And someone else is 100% certain, with absolutely no doubt and no possibility of error, that it's a one. So that's a contradiction. So that should never happen. Uh, it should never happen that messages disagree like that. Um, all, all I can have are inf infinite valued messages that all agree in, that, that all agree in sign, or zero. So in other words, if all input messages are zero, L out is zero. If at least one message is non-zero, i.e. plus or minus infinity, um, for one thing, all non-zero messages should agree. And L out is equal to whatever that was, either plus or minus infinity. So remarkably, um, the output message, whatever LC is, excuse me, um, L, the, the possible values for LC are infinity, zero, and minus infinity. Similarly, the possible values for L out are infinity, zero, and minus infinity. Now, to check, I have So therefore, I can take the sine out. And if if uh, if uh, ln is zero, then sine need not be defined because then the tan h will be zero. So this term won't matter. So what I end up with is that the magnitude of l l hat is either infinity or zero. <coughs> 